Good morning. The topic which we are going to discuss today is packaging. Packaging in context to food packaging. We are going to discuss three topics. First of all is the introduction and history, then the functions of packaging, thereafter classification of packaging which will include primary, secondary and tertiary packaging. Now let's move on to what is packaging. Packaging is an integral part which has major influence on storage life and marketability of the product. It provides a barrier between the food and the environment. Giving it a broader definition, it is a method to protect and contain the food with the aim of minimizing the environmental impact of consumption. Now, First of all, let's discuss about the history of packaging. Earlier, when the packaging material was not available, the packaging was usually done in the natural materials. For example, palm leaves were used. Thereafter, with the development, when the uh, humans started developing, they thought of making baskets out of these products. Then, because of these things, there were some disadvantages like it was very difficult to clean these things so there was lack of rigidity they causes pressure damage when tightly filled and they often have sharp edges apart from this there were barrels which were used for packaging paper was also used for packaging this includes the history now what are the functions of packaging packaging has four basic functions it provides protection, communication, convenience and containment. Traceability and tamper indication are said to be the secondary functions of increasing importance. See, it includes protection, convenience, containment and communication. We'll discuss each of them. First of all, protection. The main objective of packaging is to provide the protection from physical, chemical and biological damage. Secondly, is the communication. How any specific instruction or information which is mentioned on your food package is directly communicating with the consumer. So we can also say the food packet is a silent salesman. Convenience, ease of access, handling, disposal and product visibility. For example, in glass bottles, you can easily see what the bottle is containing. Then is the reseal ability. You can reseal it after using it. Fourth is containment. It holds the product and keep it safe until they are used. Traceability, that is you can track any food through all the stages of production, processing and distribution. Then is temper indication. Food tempering is the international contamination of the food product with the intent to cause harm to the consumer or to a private company. There are several measures to detect tempering which includes banding, special membranes, breakaway closures, special printing on bottle liners or composite cans such as graphics or text that irreversibly changes upon opening and special printing that can, cannot be easily duplicated. These are the references from which the content has been taken. I have taken the content from the internet and from the slide share. Then the packaging as a marketing tool. In this, it is an important tool for advertisement. It protects the interest of consumers. It gives the information about the quantity, the lot number, the size, the weight to the consumer. Then is the socio-economic factor in packaging. It indi indicates this increasing spending ability of the population. 
So these are the features of packaging material. Very important features which every packaging material must include. That is, it should be non-toxic, compatible with the specific food. Moisture and fat protection, sanitary protection, gas and odor protection, neither the odor should come in nor these good flavor should, should go out. The light protection, transparency, tamper proof, pouring features, reseal features, ease of disposal and low cost. Then my friends, we are going to discuss about the classification which includes the primary. Primary means your product is in directly contact with the food. For example, Parleji biscuits. The biscuits are in direct contact with your food. Then secondary, when the primary packaging is contained in the another box. For example, your, uh, we have a carton in which we are having different small packets of juices. This carton, please focus on the cursor. This carton is going to be the secondary. Thereafter, the tertiary packaging. The tertiary packaging includes the pallet packaging that is the bulk for bulk transport. Now there are also packagings based on the consumer and transport packaging. Consumer packaging includes bag which can be paper or plastic. Transport means when we have to transport it, sacks, wood, plastic, corrugated fiber boards. These are the few examples which I have taken. Sacks, we all know the onions, they come in sacks. They are made up of polypropylene. Wooden wire bound crates is another example. They are sturdy, rigid and high stacking strength. Wooden crates and lugs, for example, they are used for apple, potatoes and other things. Then is the corrugated fiberboard boxes. They are light in weight. They cause less damage, easy to handle and improve the product image. With this, we have the pulp container made from recycled paper pulp and starch binders. They can absorb the surface moisture from the product and are also biodegradable. These are the few examples. Then again, for bulk carrying, we have plastic crates. Thank you so much.